Rock out Rocky. Rocky has hidden ten of his favorite Giganto cards throughout his book. Can you find them all? This story is all about Rocky, the plucky Parasaurolophus. He's the fastest, strongest, and toughest dino of all of Cretacea, or so he thinks. Here's how Rocky learns that sometimes even the toughest dinosaur needs a little help from his friends. It was a sunny day in the jungle and Rocky had challenged himself to complete another daring mission. This time he was running as fast as he could up the fiery path of the biggest volcano in the land, Mount Oblivion. How am I doing, Rocky called to his friends. You're on track to break a record, shouted Mazo as she timed him on her sundial rod. Fastest climb to the top of Mount Oblivion. Rocky cheered proudly and paused to deliver a speech. That's me, Rocky, the toughest, fastest volcano climber in all of the land. Soon every dinosaur will know who I am. Even Gigantosaurus. Mazu, Bill, and Tiny had heard this speech before. He's daydreaming about his hero again, they said. As Rocky stepped back, he tripped over a small rocket sent to fly. He was a very daring dinosaur, but also very clumsy. A small rock bumped into a huge boulder, which went rolling down the volcano fast, straight toward his friend. Luckily, the boulder missed the other dinosaur by an inch, but poor Rocky had hurt his foot on the rock. His friends rushed over to take care of him. Ow, my toe. Here, let us help you, said Tiny. Help? No way, scoffed Rocky. Tough dinos walk alone, like Giganto. Alone? The others get. Are you okay, Rocky? I think he's hurt. Rocky pulled out his trusty Giganto cards and held them up one by one to prove his point. See, here he is jogging alone. And here he is in a buff bath, built for one. And my personal favorite, here's Giganto food shopping, he said, alone. So I, too, have to prove how tough I am alone. Rocky's friend said, how would Rocky make it to the top of the volcano with a sore toe if he wouldn't let him help? Suddenly, the ground underneath the dinosaur shook with a mighty rumble. It was a ground wobbler. The cliff the little dinosaurs were standing on broke away from the mountain with a crack and took them sailing down the river lava at full speed. At the base of a volcano, they slid to a sudden stop and Rocky soared through the air before landing neatly in Tiny's arms. Good job, Tiny God. Oh, Tiny, why'd you have to help me? asked Rocky. I told you I don't need anyone's help. ground wobbling noise was coming from the trees and it was getting much louder. As a friend stopped to listen, the stampede of dinosaurs rushed past them, fleeing the sound. That gave Rocky an idea. That'll get Giganto to notice me. 
I'm going to check it out. He said, if I can't get to the town of Mount Oblivion in record time, then I'll stop the earth from wobbling instead. <laughs> Last one visit Dodo Bird. Is your crest filled with coconuts? Asked Bill. You don't run toward danger, you run away from it. Now this Parasoran, Paraslava, Super Dino, Sidoraki. Heading toward the rumbling sound. I think he meant Parasaurolophus, said Mazu. Rocky was happy to be back on his mission. As he walked along, he was busy thinking of a tough sounding new nickname for himself. It needs to be something super cool, like Giganto, he thought. Rockinator? Rockster? Rocko Doodle Doo? Oh, my toe isn't a very tough sounding name. I know just what will help. The others heard Rocky shout out in pain and hurried over to help. His toe was still hurting badly. Mazu pointed ahead. This is a ball from a Java plan, she explained. It's full of gel that will help your toe feel better. I don't need your help, Rocky said angrily. He was still annoyed with his friends for trying to help. Everybody needs help sometimes, said Mazu, but Rocky wouldn't listen. Not tough guys like... Gigantosaurus! Giganto had appeared in a clearing ahead, and roaring and thrashing his tail around. Wow. Rocky gazed off his idol with wonder. Suddenly, the mighty dinosaur started to hop up and down on one foot, and the ground began to rumble and shake. So Giganto was a ground wobbler. But why was he stomping around so much? Then Mazda spotted something in Giganto's foot. Isn't that boulder Rocky knocked over earlier, she asked? Sure enough, the same rock was now wedged between Giganto's toes. Poor Giganto, he's hurt. I bet if we calm him down, we could give that rock out from between his toes, said Tiny. Rocky sprang into action. It was his fault, so he thought he should be the one to fix it. How could he calm Giganto down? I've got it, he said excitedly. When I was a baby, my mom would move to help me relax. Did you say move? Rocky took a deep breath and blew air out of the crest on his head. It made a deep moo sound that echoed through the jungle. Giganto stopped stomping and tilted his head to listen. I think it's working, said Mazu. He needs to hear me better. I've got to get closer, said Rocky. He scrambled over to a palm tree and started to climb up, up, up. But he slipped and fell down with a crash. Rocky wasn't going anywhere with that sore foot. Mazda squirted a gel from the dollar plane onto Rocky's foot. He instantly felt better. See how nice a little help can be, she said. I'm sorry, said Rocky, looking up at his friend. I should have just accepted your help in the first place. Then the ground shook again, and Rocky remembered his missing. Giganto, he cried. Now it's his turn to feel better. I'm coming, big guy. I mean, we're coming. You see, even tough guys like us need help. With his foot feeling much better, Rocky hopped up onto a tree bench and blew it out of his crest to relax the huge dinosaur. Mazu went time to use a bamboo stick to pry the rock out from between Giganto's toes. Then Bill spread the java gel onto the foot to make it feel better. The 
four dino friends cheered the giganto stomped off. He seemed much happier. That's teamwork. Rocky, you did it, said Tiny. You helped Giganto to feel better. No, said Rocky, we did it. I couldn't have done it without you. That was how Rocky limits. Sometimes the toughest thing the dinosaur can do is accept help from his friends. Even when he thinks he doesn't need it. Rocky became a much more humble dinosaur after that. Well, for a few minutes at least. Wait, this book is about me. I'm famous. Here he goes again. service now available on DVD and digital available now at your local retailer or download and stream instantly on your favorite digital platform Rock out Rocky. Based on the book by Johnny Donald. 